This is the third video about an NEQ6 belt modification. It's in a series of seven, so you might like to check out the other ones first. In this stage, we're going to remove the RA axis and separate the RA worm housing so we can install the belt. Here are the parts we'll be dealing with in the RA axis, and we'll be removing pretty much all of them. We'll end up with the RA worm housing separated so we can install the belt. So let's get into it. Okay, here we are in stage three. The task for this one, uh, this, this, this stage, is to remove the RA axis, that's this whole thing here, uh, and, we'll get, and then get to the RA worm housing, which is this flat bit here underneath the main, this is the upper housing, they're calling this the lower housing. So that's what we're trying to get. But we'll, what we'll do is, for the first stage is we'll, we'll, we'll take this part out and then we'll put it on the, onto the, up onto the workbench and then we'll have to get this out separately. So let's get into it, shall we? The first thing I have to do is remove the polar scope. That's underneath here. Put that aside. The polar scope is easy to get rid of. We just, we just, let's see. Spin that, comes out fairly easily. There's the polar scope. It can go to, go to one side, I'll put that in a nice, in, in little plastic bag eventually. Now we'll need a screwdriver. There are three or possibly four screws at the bottom of the side of these things. comes away with the whole collar assembly. There we go. And the next section, grub screw. There are four grub screws. I think it's a two, two millimeter. Now, I may need my strap tool for this, or it might just come. Now, behind this, I think there is a, a thrust bearing. So I'm just gonna have to be careful that it doesn't suddenly come out. In that case, the next thing we do is undo these guys and then move that fella out. I'll just What's the best that the thrust bearing is going to hit the ground while I'm not there to catch it? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Well, that was easy. There's the thrust bearing. Looks, uh, looks very clean. That's good because I'm not replacing this one. Pop that down. I'll bag it up in a minute. Now that I've got released that thrust bearing, I should be able to just bring this out. That's I want to. It's what wants to catch. There we go. And I've got the the bearing as well. Okay, right. Okay, now, because we've removed, removed the upper housing, I'm gonna change camera angles and do a bit of cleanup, and I'll get back to the, uh, the, the worm assembly in, uh, in a minute. Okay, here we are, we've rearranged things. I've got the upper assembly out on a piece of paper here. I've, uh, I've put the, uh, I don't know if the other camera can see it, that's no, probably out of the shot, but uh, the main assembly or the, the tripod is over there. Right, next thing we have to do is um, remove the worm housing. Uh, to do, actually before I go into that, 
Um, this is what we have. What's it, this is what has come out of the uh, thing. You might have you might might have noticed that this bearing here had, had come down to around about there um, as I was taking it out of the, the the lower housing. What we've got here is the brass wheel, and inside the brass wheel there's a bearing, and then there's a shim between these two bearings, and then then there's this outer bearing here. The the outer, the, the, the bearings. Uh, up against each other. Now I'm hoping that I might be able to, I'll just, actually I'll just take the, the setting circle out, um, I'm hoping that I might be able to leave this assembly together and not open it up uh, because these bearings are hard to move around. So let's grab a, uh, I think this is a 5mm Allen key uh, and that will do these four I don't know if you can see them. These four screws here, which hold the housing on. So I'll just get rid of these. Now, the grub screw, according to my note there, is a two millimeter one. I've got the two millimeter grub screw in the little packet that we got from Rowan Astronomy. In fact, it's come off. Right. So, there you go. Okay, heavy sigh of relief. What I'll do is I'll bag that carefully. Um, I'm going to, I, I intend to replace all of the uh, the grease because you can see, see the grease here is, it doesn't feel gritty, but you know, it won't be very long before it gets gritty. Um, and I'll replace the grease on the bearing, uh, so the um, the the uh, this brass wheel here, and the worm worm drive. But I'll do that probably when the camera's not watching. This is what we're looking for. So I'll put the uh, I'll I'll put the assembly away, bag it up, and then I'll come and start modifying these things in the next section.